Welcome to Finding Mimo, where Merlin the Clownfish goes looking for his only son, who's lost, right? And how this happened was, he had a woman, he got her a house at the drop-off, which is apparently a big deal, okay? Like, if you're living here, you're shitting in high cotton, okay? And they go to check on their hundred or so offspring in the garage, I guess, then they do some foreplay and see a big bad cunty wunty killer fish, so he climbing in your windows, had your kids, had your wife, but bitch didn't get the memo, she didn't get the memo, she didn't get the memo, ha ha ha. Ah, kill me. And leads Killerfish directly to her kids because she wanted to protect them against the advice of Marlon. He gets flicked around because he's small fishy and bitch gets herself and all her kids fucking murdered. Great job, fucking stupid whammon. Then Clown Guy wakes up and finds in their driveway, I guess, one lonesome scarred egg and he calls it Nemo and vows to protect it. Forever, never, never, never. Cut to years later where he's super overprotective of his son Bimo, who's a bit grown up and has a fucked fin from that scar, right? And I think they have moved into the middle of the city because it's safer. And this year he's finally allowing his illiterate piece of shit son to go to school after years of love not going because he's a massive pussy. So they make their way over to the school bus and abide by traffic laws because it's not like they're fish or anything and they can swim over this shit fucking jackasses anyway this ass flap of a fish that killed my boy steve Irwin is apparently the entire school the sole teacher and the school bus itself somehow i think it's called a stingray on a porn because murren be like can you take special care of my son because he got this midget fin can't really swim my dad you're embarrassing me in front of my friends so they take off and do not need to hold on to his back to ride him like that because as we all know inertia isn't really a thing underwater because fuck logic anyway marlon finds out that they're going to the drop off and he gets ptsd from it so he's be like, no, Kimo can't go to the drop off. And he goes to get him. Meanwhile, they have in class, but it's really like a field trip. Kimo and a few friends sneak off to the edge of the drop off to see a boat and have a dick measuring contest to see how close they can get to it. Then try to peer pressure Emo into it, but he and Budget and his dad comes along like, what the fuck, no one? All mad at him and stuff, but he wasn't really gonna do anything. Then the murderer comes along like, sorry, I was murdering another national treasure. What can I help you with? And Nemo uses this distraction to go out and show his dad that he doesn't need that much protection. He's a big boy and he's gonna go out and touch the boat. And his dad notices it and he's like, come back here, I swear to God, if you touch that boat, I'm gonna cut off all your fins and shove them so far up your ass you're gonna throw him up hey hey young fish don't you dare but cream will be like fuck you died then he swims back in a bunch of strong words about discipline from his pop-up who completely missed the fucking diver sneaking up on fabio then another one pops up and flashbangs him while they bag his son up listen i get not seeing the second diver because he was hidden but look at this you had all this distance to spot and warn your son but you did fucking neither what a fucking dumbass uncooked fish finger doesn't matter they take supremo up to the boat and cruise off while merlin tries to chase after them but tiny fishy no swim fast enough and his son is officially lost but let the finding of nemo commence so he goes down to look for help asking the masses if they saw a boat go by and he bumps into Dory in this blue fish who says that she saw a boat go by and tries to help him but he very quickly finds out that she has short term memory loss and he goes I see well thanks to Mancha Dory but you're maddeningly unhelpful and then they meet Bruce the shark who takes them to an AA meeting for sharks that are trying to get off meth I mean eating fish and the meeting takes place in the old sub surrounded by mines and Marlin is high key shitting himself but Dory is all hunky Dory just vibing like hi I'm Dory and I've never eaten a fish so I strong that's something incredible like. then Marlin notices one of the divers masks that they knocked off while kidnapping his son then accidentally sacks Dory in the face with it and she bleeds a bit and it goes up Bruce's nose and that has the same effect on him as snorting a line of cocaine straight off a hooker's ass <laughs> And now he has a real appetite for eating fishies. So they swim for their life. He finds out that Dory can read. They hide in a torpedo hole. Then Brucey throws a torpedo at a mine and everything goes kaboom, Rico. I thought mines are supposed to be triggered when these pointy thingies get pushed in, not just by any light tap like that. Because if so, then they would have went nuclear a long time ago, right? If anybody knows, please enlighten me in the comments. Meanwhile, the dentist that caught Steemo puts him in his tank and we meet the tank gang. Say hi to Cheddar Cheese, Female Patrick, Vaporwave, Morpheus Fish, Oprah Winfrey, French Shrimpy, the Rito Zebra Fish, and Burr Pelican Guy, who slams straight into the window to observe the dentist do his dentist stuff with the fishies. By the way, this fucking muppet of a dentist doesn't notice him slamming into the fucking window and he only kicks him out once he talks to the fishies a bit. Also, here they can hear Patrick. Can't hear you, Peach. I said we got a live one. But now they can. What do we got? Root canal. And by the looks of those x-rays, it's not gonna be pretty. How? Just how? This doesn't make any sense at all. What the f- uh, It doesn't matter. They find out that the dentist is gonna give away Kimo to his small prostitute bitch-ass niece Darla, who's a fish killer. And Trimo freaks out, gets stuck in this suction tube, and the Rito Zebra's like, get out on your own. I can't. I got a fucked fin. Never stop me. <laughs> So Lando wiggles around a bit and is able to get on his own. Good for him. Now fuck him and back to his dad and Dory, who are currently waking up from an explosion coma and run away from the sub that is sliding off a cliff into this chasm of doom. And they keep swimming away in a straight line instead of going left or right to avoid the sub like the just brain fish they are. That's okay, the sub stops, they get lucky, but Dory drops the mask into the Mariana Twinch. That clownfish is too afraid to go down because he's a massive vagine, but Dory's Sigma female has exactly zero shits to give and drags him down with her. Why aren't there any Sigma female memes, huh? I thought this was supposed to be the age of equality, assholes. Is I 
those sigma males sounds funnier. Also, don't all fish have the respective depth limit? And if they go past it, they would, you know, die? Man, it doesn't matter. I'm just gonna pretend that their depth limit is infinite. So down there, they find this fish that uses its light as bait to eat other fish and run away from it and spot the mask. So Merlin does evasive maneuvers while she reads the address on the back of the mask. And they trap the fugly ass fish. And he asks her what she read and she'd be like, oh, that's easy. P. Sherman 42, Wallaby Way, Sydney. <gasps> I remembered something. Yeah, cool, but where is that? I need to find my son. Man, fuck your son. I remembered shit. Now back to the fucked son. He becomes part of the tank gang and they hatch a dastardly plan to help him and all of them escape by ruining the filtration system or tank cleaning system thingy to make it dirty as fuck so the dentist will have to clean the tank and to do that he has to take them all out and put them in individual baggies at which point they will try and roll out the window and escape into the sea a plan which Zebra Dorito says is foolproof but I don't see how they'll be able to roll up this ledge and fall down onto the sidewalk without exploding and roll through the street without cars running them over then up the cliff that is this curb then into the sea and I'm gonna be proven right with this last bit because Nemo gets put into an individual baggie and put into a tray that he cannot escape from and the curb is definitely higher than this ledge right here so fuck you that foolproof plan of yours can suck my balls all right in the meanwhile dad breaks up with dory because he's really annoying and he gets mocked by a school of fish then helped by them see they give him directions on how to get to sydney they're gonna need to go on this underwater highway or something and they point them in the right direction and off they go except they test dory with remembering to go through the big bad trench when they meet it not over it which she immediately forgets because dang look at that big ass trench and because marlin is a pussy ass beta male cuck he wants to go over the trench not through it and at first the coast on top seems to be clear they see the highway current thingy and is all good but and yet another example of characters in this movie being blind motherfucking tunnel visioning bastards either that or shit keeps appearing out of thin water like magic they get descended upon by a horde of jellyfish then cause Dory high on that good cause she decides to make a race out of getting out of here by jumping on top of the jellyfish's uh the bubbly wobbly pit I don't know I don't fucking know what these things are called, but the part that doesn't sting yet. And for once, the clown starts vibing along like, Are you hungry, Dory? Because you're about to eat my balls, bitch! And he makes it out, wins the race, but at what cost? Because Dory's not there. So he goes back in and finds her tangled in the jellyfish tentacle stingy bits. So he saves her and stings the shit out of himself. But, you know, they get out and they pass out for like the third time in this movie, I think. And a little while later, he wakes up on the shell of the chillest turtle on planet Earth. Home dog is fucking zoinked out of his mind. And they are in the East Australian Curve, which is the ocean highway I was talking about. And he holds onto his shell for the this fast bit which completely goes against the logic of the kids being on the stingray bus but fucking whatever who cares then he finds dory at the sub level right and she got a scar on her but she don't care and apparently neither do the animators because that scar miraculously disappears as the movie progresses either that or that's not a scar it's a wound and a healed and i'm just retarded anyway she playing with the little dude jelly man learns a lesson about parenting from crush about trusting your kids and shit and then the little shits gather around for him to tell him his story of his travels up until now which travels through word of mouth from turtle to fish to fish to crab to dolphin to bird the birds must have a horrible version of this kick-ass story because they're only hearing half of what the dolphins are saying. That doesn't matter though because his story gets transmitted all the way to Paul the Pelican who's friends with the tank gang. So he flies over to them and slams into the window again. This time the dentist notices the slam but then completely ignores Paul when he talks to the fishies which is the complete opposite of what happened last time. Where's the fucking consistency for the love of ass? Fucking who cares? Because Nemo is depresso espresso given his imminent doom and the fact that he almost got turned to sushi earlier on when he tried to execute Zebra the Rito's plan but Paul's here now and he hears his dad's story and he gets the motivation to go give the plan another shot. Jams the gears of the water filtration purification thingy then crawls through the suction tube when it's not suction suctioning you know and the heist is completed it's plus 69 rp go talk to lester now back to jellyman dad and blue bitch they're in another fast bit of the ac not holding on to crush's shell which again is just i'm it's it completely the opposite of i'm not even gonna fuck it no 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 whatever they take a swirly exit then are instructed to just turn around and swim straight on to get to kangaroo land sydney but they get lost and she goes hey let's ask that very ominous and scary looking fish over there but he'd be like no so she'd be like what is it with men and asking for directions so he goes i don't want to play the gender card right now why is that buddy is it because you don't want the audience to find out that clownfish can flibbity flabber between genders if their mate dies to keep doing coitus and you know make more offspring and shit technically making this whole movie one fish is a relentless pursuit for incest that's right you heard me fuck you and your childhood so this little bitch over here turns out to be a big ass bitch over here so dory tries to speak to it in whale but marlon gets pissed at her and the world's fastest whale gets out of their sight and circles behind them while they're talking about whale dialects and ends up swallowing them both this all happens in less than 30 seconds lightning mcqueen whale anyway inside his mouth marlin gets clinical depression like fuck dude i'm never gonna be able to tap my son's ass then lightning mcqueen starts flushing the toilet that is his mouth lifts up his tongue and dory says he's telling them to let go so transistor fish finally trusts her and does so and they get shot out of lightning mcqueen's blowhole not butthole but blowhole okay right next to sydney so they thank mr whale and start looking around for the address or boat i guess i'm not sure and while this was happening the tank gang were literally swimming in their own shit the tank is pure filth so next day dickhead dentist cleaned up the tank while they were asleep i don't know how he managed to do that without 
without waking them up, but he did. And then he installed this high tech cleaning thingy the day that BTS Darla is supposed to arrive. Then he tries to take Krimo, but fishes unite and they all swim down to save Nemo from this net. And somehow this dipshit dentist does not at all question this massive feat of intelligence his fishes have performed, and just fucking blows it off, then sneakily bags Nemo and puts him in a tray he can't escape from. Then Satan himself arrives. Switch back to Pussyfish and Sigma Woman, who get caught by a pelican, then cough back up because Pussyfish grew some balls and ain't ready to die. And they meet Paul, who figures out that he's Nemo's dad, but they try to flop away, continuing on the pier or the wood stuff instead of jumping back into the water. What a bunch of retarded fish, hombre. Whatever, Paul follows and they end up surrounded by a bunch of ultra selfish retarded seagulls and he's like, jump into my mouth, I know you're Gimpy Finn's son. Let's go! And he flies off with them, does some clever smart boy flying to get rid of the flying dodos. They make their way over to the dentist's office where Nemo is playing dead to get flushed down the toilet because all drains lead to the toilet in this movie. Wait, no, no, no. All drains lead to the sea in this movie. But dentist cunt goes for the trash can instead. Then Paul arrives and Marlon controls him like Ratatouille but with tongue this time to go save his son but ends up just causing a commotion and dumbass Darla gets a hold of Nemo shaking him and shit almost killing him. Paul gets kicked out. Tank Gang uses the bubble volcano thing machine to launch Zebra Dorito onto Darla to piss her off and the bag explodes. Dentist knocks himself out and Dorito Zebra launches Quifo into the dentist spitball thingy. Then the dentist wakes up and puts him back into the tank. End of quick time events. Nemo is currently in the pool water treatment facility and Paul sadly deposits the dynamic duo into the sea because they all think that Bimo's dead. Then Merlin breaks up with Dory for real this time and she be like please don't go away I remember stuff with you and he be like bitch hop off the stick and see a doctor or some shit. Then he leaves and Nemo pops out of the sewage pipe right after his dad passes by then finds Dory and asks her for help and she remembers everything so they go looking for clown dead and she uses her expert crab interrogation skills to find him. Mine. <gasps> The family is reunited, but the drama ain't over because the fishing net swoops down, catching a bunch of tuna. I think, I don't know my fish, but they catch Dory along with them. So Quifu wants to use a big brain move of swimming down to save her and everyone along with her. But Pussy Dad be like, No, I'm not gonna lose you again. Please die, you have to trust me. And he's like, Okay, fine. Everyone gets told to swim down as hard as they can from the inside and the outside, and a tug of war commences with the fishing boat. The aquatic creatures win this tug of war, and given how fast stories travel to word of mouth in this movie, I'm guessing the entire ocean figures out this 200 IQ trick, and the fishing industry fucking crashes. Anyway, Supremo got doing pretty hard into ocean bed but he Gucci main and he's still alive and they go back home to the reef Merlin no longer a pussy kids allowed to go to school Hunky Dory keeps attending Sharks Anonymous and the tank gang somehow fuck with the high tech water cleaning thingy and escape into the ocean now what now you go super blowfish again but closer to the back so it pops then you do the same for your friends it's simple you fucking retarded Morpheus fish come on man anyway this movie gets 9 turtles out of 3.8 plastic straws